Obtaining a Job in Athletic Coaching. Today I am going to discuss networking and its importance, volunteering, and ways to become a teacher in Georgia, which can lead to coaching opportunities. Networking is defined as the exchange of information or services among individuals, groups, or institutions. Specifically, the cultivation of productive relationships for employment or businesses. According to veteran columnist and author Hal Lancaster, networking remains the number one cause of job attainment. It's never too early to start making connections because it is often not what you know, but who you know that can get your foot in the door of an organization. A good way to build and maintain your network is by staying in touch with former coaches and teammates. Another way is by staying in touch with former employers. You may leave a position for a number of reasons, but it is best to leave on good terms. You never want to burn bridges with someone who could potentially help you in the future. Along with staying in touch with previous associates, it is also beneficial to branch out and meet others in the coaching profession. You can do this by attending coaching conferences, doing internships or practicums at schools you did not attend, and by volunteering as a community coach. Volunteering is defined as freely offering to do something. Being a community coach is a great way to get involved with an organization that does not have an open position. It is hopeful that this type of situation is a win-win for both the organization and the volunteer, but unfortunately that is not always the case. In this case, the volunteer may be taken advantage of and given all the dirty work, or the volunteer may forget that he or she is a volunteer and must act accordingly. However, in the best case scenario, both the organization and the volunteer benefit. The organization can benefit by having another person around to assist with coaching duties for minimal to no pay, as well as having another person to run ideas by and pass along information to. The person volunteering can also benefit by gaining knowledge about the sport and profession, being able to network with staff and others in the coaching profession, have the opportunity to work with others who share your interests, and the opportunity to mentor youth. The final topic I am going to discuss today is how you can become a teacher here in Georgia. Keep in mind that other states may have different requirements. In Georgia, you must obtain certification to teach in public schools. Some private institutions may not require certification. The organization responsible for issuing certifications is the Georgia Professional Standards Commission. The school systems in Georgia are generally set up by county. RESA provides services to schools and teachers, and I will discuss their services more in depth in a little bit. Certificate levels range from T4 to T7, depending on the level of degree you have obtained. You can see this in the chart. Years of service is the number of years teaching or experience granted by the system. Both certificate level and years of service will determine your state-based salary. There are two routes to certification, the traditional route or the alternative route. For the traditional route, a person completes approved teacher education program at an institution. Certification completion can also be achieved via graduate school degree program. For example, Masters of Art in Teaching. It is a two-year program that provides initial certification. Classes are generally at night and include a semester of student teaching. Therefore, this type of program is made for people coming back to school to become a teacher. The alternative route is often for working professionals sometimes deciding to become teachers. These people can be from other disciplines besides teacher education. Most states provide some type of pathway to do so. Georgia provides the Teacher Alternative Preparation Program, also known as TAPP, which is a two-year program. Also, the Regional Educational Service, Services Agency, or RESA, as a practicum, which is a one-year program.
The TAPP is open to anyone who has an undergraduate degree with a minimum of a 2.5 GPA. You must have passing scores on GACE 1 and 2. GACE stands for Georgia Assessments for the Certification of Educators. You must also have employment by the school system. Remember, the TAPP is a two-year program. It is similar to an internship, but upon completion of the program, the school system is the one who recommends you for certification. An added benefit to this type of program is you are paid a full teacher's salary during your time in the TAPP. The RESA practicum is how most SSP majors will get into the teaching profession. In fact, that's how Professor Joe Mullins did it. In order to do the RESA practicum, a person must have obtained an undergraduate degree with a minimum of 2.5 GPA. You must also have passing scores on GACE 1 and 2. You must have employment through a school system. Remember, this is a one-year program. After completion, the school system re recommends you for certification. During this year, you will be paid at less than full teacher salary. Another important note is that this program is often available only in areas of need, which generally are special education, math, and science. Once certified, you may add additional fields by passing GACE content tests. For example, our content area would be health and physical education. Upon certification, you can also add special education. Other possible routes include, number one, the exchange route. You could become certified in another state and move. Your new location can recognize that certification. The second one is known as special permit. Basically, it simply states that the person has special credentials or expertise in an area. For example, Kirby Smart teaching a coaching class. The GAPSC periodically revises the certification process, so these are always subject to change. To find a job in Georgia, you can search teachgeorgia.com or look at the various school system sites. You can find salary information at www.gadoe.org. Remember, this varies by school system and is based on certification levels and years of service. Retirement information can be found on www.trsga.com. You are vested after 10 years and your retirement amount is based on your highest two years of salary. Other benefits include health insurance and other options. There are many organizations that can help further your professionalism in teaching and coaching. There are many to choose from. Here are just a few. There are many avenues to get into coaching. Not two coaches have identical paths. The coaching profession can be challenging to break into. It is up to you to determine your own course.